Hey everybody, listen, good evening, good morning to everybody. I uh, hope you all are enjoying this wonderful, wonderful day. Um, you know, as, as we always say in the church, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Listen, anyways, I'm very happy today because I want to talk about so much. I haven't done this in a long time, but I am going to take this opportunity. And so no matter who you are, or what you are, uh, what particular walk of walk of life you come from, LGBTQ, straight, gay, uh, blind, crippled, crazy, it don't matter. I believe that there is something in all of this for you. One thing that I have learned about the word that we say, that word of God, um, it is for everybody. Technically, when I have done my studies, breaking this stuff down, the Bible says one thing, but because we have that ram in the bush that we call Jesus, um, Yeshua, it is made for everybody. Now, what I am gonna say about this is this, because the word is for everybody and it is that, and Jesus is love, and love is for everybody. And the Bible says that in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was God, and the Word was made flesh. The Bible says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believe in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. What are you trying to say, John? Okay, I'm glad you did ask me that. <clears throat> and that is this. I have spent my time on social media battling with people, trying to get them to see what's right before their very eyes. The hard part about it is I went to college. <laughs> I went to college and I'm looking at all this stuff and I'm like, it's right here like it's literally right here like oh no it's not um it's right here like what are we missing and we spend so much time beating up on people and we're taking scriptures out of here and literally just like we beat up on people of the lgbtq we can beat up on the women we can beat up on the men we can beat up on children we can beat up on men who don't work, men who don't do this, men who don't do that. The Bible says, for God so loved the world that he, it, her, she, we, he, it gave its only begotten son that whosoever, who, that whosoever, who, Whosoever, who, that whosoever, who, it didn't say man, it didn't say woman, it didn't say straight, it didn't say gay, it said for God so loved. Oh, Yo, y'all need a scripture? That's okay. It wasn't like this down at the bottom. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whom soever believe all you gotta do is believe we're doing all this exercise oh you gotta do this oh you gotta do that you gotta do three cartwheels and, and do one backwards and you gotta do one front run around the church three times he said believe believe if you believe on me he didn't say worship he said believe believe that because I did the work that you can do the work too. You know the funny part about this, things are just rolling to my mind right now. You know the funny part about this is <laughs> Jesus, Yeshua, came through a broken home. Ooh, that was good. That was good right there. That, that, was, that was real good right there. Jesus came from a broken home. Mind you, 
Joseph was not his father, but God, according to the scriptures, is his father. So you already got a broken home because you got a woman who is giving birth to a child that's not this man's child. So that's already a problem. And this man has to take care of this woman and this baby that she said was given to her by God through the Holy Spirit. We already got a problem. Somebody say, Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> And yet and still, everything that Jesus did, he did it through love. He realized that the circumstances that he was already given weren't perfect. He was walking around with a secret that he couldn't really, they already beat him up because he said he was God's child, like really. But because his father loved the world and sent him, he and Tell also loved the world and the people. See, we're going to break down a lot of this Bible stuff later on, but I just want y'all to understand something. There is no big eyes and little U's in God. Everybody has their place fitly joined together. If you got a problem with somebody and, and how they do things or what they do or whatever have you, go talk to the man upstairs. Go, go talk to him. Because he made me. He made you. I'm just a vessel that's trying to do the work. And because he loved me enough I just want to make sure by any means necessary with what he's given me. I just want to make sure I do the work. Thing about it is we battle down here on earth every day with haters and people that don't like you and you got a job, you got to work. And then I have to go back to the, the passage that says he loved me enough he gave me strength. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I don't want to deal with it. I don't like it. But I can do all things through Christ. Why do you say I do all things through Christ? Because God loved me enough, you enough, that he sent a vessel to be the example. Not love me enough, you enough, that he sent a vessel to be the example. Not love me enough, you enough, that he sent a vessel to be the example. Not that I go and just, oh, Jesus, I worship you. Just da, 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 da. No. You did it. And because you did it, I can do it. And it gives me strength. It gives me strength. I had to get to a place where I understood that you're here to do an assignment on this earth. And while you're here on this earth to do an assignment, do your best at it. The crazy part about it is, the crazy part about it, and I know people will not understand I was raised up in a traditional church. I was raised up in a organization, relatively big organization. And all I knew was church. I didn't develop a relationship with the father until I started studying and reading for myself. See, because it's one thing to have a relationship based upon things and stuff. It's another when you have a relationship and you have nothing to show for it. 
but your belief, but your faith. Let that sink in. It's easy to believe God when everything is good. It's easy to have faith when everything is working out. But what about when you don't have those things? I started there. I did, was never the person who had a silver spoon in his mouth, but I always worked for what I wanted. I knew a long time ago that I was a same gender loving man. But the thing is that I was never caught up in that. I wasn't caught up in that because I was too busy trying to have a relationship at some point with God. I was too, well, I was too busy trying to do the church thing. Let me just take the relationship part out. I was too busy trying to do the church thing. I was too busy trying to get in a place where I'm emotionally caught up because there was too much going on around. And I just felt like maybe if I could just dance this thing out, speak in tongues and get into scriptures and all of this stuff that, you know, either all of this stuff that I'm dealing with will one day go away. All of this, the, the, the cares and toils, and it'll just go away. Well, it didn't work like that. I realized very early on in life that I was a same gender loving person. Human being, a spirit having a humanistic experience. I realized very on, very early on in life that this was who I was. So I try to do everything else. And I, I battled with that thing, y'all, because I was like, well, wait a minute. How could God use someone like me? Well, then I came across the scripture that said he'll take the foolish things to, to confound the wise. I said, okay, well, I mean, that sounds good, but I mean, God, what about the scripture over there in Leviticus that said, man should not lie with another man? Okay, then I, I was like, well, what about this scripture that says that God, that, that the Bible said that this is an abomination? I was like, I'm like, I'm confused. I didn't ask for none of this. Just like I didn't ask to be born into this world from a young woman who had an intimate experience with a, a young man and they were young high school lovers and she ended up having a child, a boy child at 16 and then become a valedictorian in high school. And you know, then the auntie and the grandmother and the grandparents and grandfather ended up raising the child and the daddy, you know, did his part and his mother uh, ended up taking on the responsibility of helping and just being raised by a village. You take the foolish things to confound the wise. <laughs> so then, I realized that all of this was so foolish, but yet and still, you put something inside of a young boy and it was called love. Surrounded by love, by family members, protected, wasn't harmed, wasn't molested, wasn't none of those things. But you put love there. Because even though he was brought up in a non-traditional, non-typical circumstances, he had love. And that love would have to be so strong that in spite of what would come along in life, that I was loved. I'm sorry, I'm not supposed to be talking about myself. I'm talking about third person, okay. That it was that that young man would grow up to understand that love brought him through the craziest of times, craziest of situations. And even though 
At nighttime, that young man had to cry because he did not understand why. Like, why would I have these feelings? Why would this? That young man would love God so that God would gift him with salvation, gift him with the spirit of the Holy Spirit, and that he would just minister in all those things. And one day he would get tired of living a secret of being who he was and just want to be honest. But then how can I how can I how can I spread the word that God has given? How can he spread the word that God has given? And he is this person. Well, when he began to study, he began to understand that love lifted me. Okay, no, I'm sorry. Love lifted him. Third person, right? <laughs> Love lifted him when nothing else would help. It was love. Love is the greatest thing. It's the greatest command. Love. Love thy neighbor as thyself. How can you love God the Father when you do not love your brother whom you see every day? Oh, I love you, God. I love you, God. But do you love the person who despitefully uses you? Do you love the person that, even though I try so hard, I just, whoo, I hate. See, when you, when it's real, you exude it in such a way that when people do do you wrong, it pisses them off. That they can't take you off your pedestal. That they can't take you off your square. When you love in such a way, nothing else matters. No, no, nothing else matters because I'm too caught up in the love thing that even when I do wrong, I realize through love, okay, let me fix this, let me fix this, let me fix this. For God so loved the world that he gave. When you realize that in spite of yourself, that the Father, the Creator, loved you enough Love me enough, you, them, all of them, black, white, purple, green, enough that he gave a, 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 another vessel to walk this earth and to be the example. Yeah, to be the example for you that in spite of your judgmental hypocrite self that I can still find the scripture that says in spite of it all, I love you. And when you learn to love me enough, nothing else matters. I'll do whatever it takes. In, in spite of how I feel, oh, the pastor. In, in spite of other people, I love back because he loved me enough to do something for me that others would not do. Some says love, some says love, some says lifting me, lifting me, lifting me. Oh love, lifting me. When nothing else would help, it was his love that lifted me, me, me. Love, 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 lifting me, lifting me, lifting me. Love, lifting me, lifting me, lifting me. When nothing else would have, would have, would have. Love. Lifted me, died, 
In spite of how I was born into this world, in spite of how Jesus was born into this world, he did the work. He did the work. <laughs> and if we go along with the story, I feel like preaching. <laughs> if, we, if we go along with the story, you know, I ain't even got my hoop triggers. I got it on my iPad. I ain't got my stuff set up. But if we go along with the story, Jesus went on, and in spite of persecution, in spite of everything, he realized he got on the cross and he completed the work. And he said, Father, forgive them. But they don't even know. They don't even know. They don't even know what they're doing. Put them on the cross. He said, if I be lifted up, I'll draw all men. So you have to realize what your hand is and, you know, people, that's okay. Because it wasn't his own people who did it. It was his own people who left him. But it was other people that put him on the cross. And he said, if I be lifted up, I'll draw all men. All men, meaning man, woman, boy, and girl. I'll draw all men unto me. What you trying to say? My favorite scripture is let your light. If I be lifted up, I'll draw all men. Let your light so shine that men may see your works, your good works. Even when people try to cover it up and try to hide and try to throw you away, that men may see your good works and glorify who? The Father, which is in heaven. Now, in out, of, out of everything that I've just told you and talked about and everything of that nature, I didn't beat up on nobody. Why? Because it is the nature of God. That even in love, if I'm wrong, that I'll feel convicted enough to say, you know what? Let me change that. Let me let me do something else different. He loved me enough that he keeps being good to me. And I want to make sure that I'm good to him. And I want to make sure that he's proud and that he's pleased and that he's happy with me. Well, Josh, well, what about you? Good question. Even in spite of myself, I realize that he has done a fool. He seemingly has done something so foolish to create something in his image and after his likeness. And that person just happens to be same gender loving, but still created in his image and after his likeness. And that person has a passion to see people restored, healed, delivered, and set free. Well, 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 what about this? What about that? Well, what about it? Because everywhere I look in scripture, God didn't care. He sent a vessel to be used. And the vessel's job, the vessel's job is to do the work. The vessel's job, just like Jesus, the vessel's job 
is to do the work. Let my work praise me in the gate. Let my light shine. Let my work shine. See, we get caught up in the formalities of things and legalistics and, and re religion and do dogma. The job, just as Jesus, is to let your, let your light shine. Let, let the light shine through your work. So then my question, while we're trying to be pastors, prophets, preachers, and all kinds of things like that, is your work burning enough that your light is shining. See, because when you're doing the work and you're allowing your light to shine, you don't get caught up in foolishness because you're too busy trying to do the work. Not to even say that you won't make mistakes in life. Not to even say that. But you'll be too busy trying to do the work. You'll be too busy because God loved you enough. And you're too busy trying to do the work of him who has sent you. You're too busy doing the work that you don't get caught up in foolish things. Why? Because I'm just trying to do the assignment. I... God never told me I couldn't have fun. I'm too busy trying to do the assignment. I'm too busy trying to do the work. I'm too busy doing what he sent me to do. That's what I don't understand. Y'all, I'm past jazz right now. I'm about to be King Jazz in a minute. This is what I don't understand why everybody's getting caught up in foolishness. Y'all call it sin, but I'm going to call it foolishness. You get too caught up in sex and drugs and all. Hey, hey. It's a distraction. Oh, wait a minute. Many are called, few are chosen. A lot of y'all are called to do a job. A lot of y'all are called to do a work. But it's very few of us that's chosen and that get it. I, I, that that thing just I just said something right there. I just literally just said something right there. A lot of y'all are called, a lot of you all are called to do something, but it's very few of us that's chosen to do a specific assignment, and because we're we're chosen to do a specific assignment, we get it. We get it. Like, I'm not going to argue with you about no homosexuals. So I'm not going to argue with you about scriptures. I'm not going to argue with you about this dumb stuff because, again, my assignment being chosen is to do the work. See, 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 the thing is, just like Jesus, I'm doing the work so that when I see him, when I see him, and he says, you ran well. I don't want him to say, you ran well, but what hindered you? Well, you know, they were talking about me as them. They said this, they said this about me. No, 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 no. You got distracted. You forgot about the, I love you, right? Don't worry about them because all of them is working to come see me. Ooh. <laughs> that thing just got, ooh. You get distracted, but you forgot one key factor. And that is, everybody is working to come see me. <laughs> Payday is coming after a while. Everybody's working. Everybody's working to see the master one day. Will your works pay off 
Will your works, you ran well, you worked well. Will he say what hindered you? Or will he say welcome? Listen, thank you all for being on. I appreciate it so much. I hope you all have gotten some out of this um, message, inspirational or whatever. I hope I am helping. Um, I decided to just take on my assignment and be Pastor Jives. <laughs> I will forever be king. I will forever be king. But this is my assignment. This is my work. To God be the glory. 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 <laughs> I had to breathe because there's a lot of things I want to say, but I just had to breathe in and breathe out because it's a lot of just, but to God be the glory. To God be the glory for the things that he has done. He gets the glory. Father, I thank you right now. Thank you for the ones that are listening. Thank you for the ones that have tuned in. Um, thank you for the ones who have even shared this video. Uh, let it be a blessing to somebody. Let it heal somebody. Let it deliver somebody. Let it set somebody free. Let it set someone free. Let, let that young man, that, that young woman know that you are love. That you are love. And because you so love the world, you gave your heart to the world for them. And in spite of what they may hear, in spite of what they may see, it was love. It was love. It was love. It was love. And Father, we praise you. We give you the glory. We bind up the hand of the enemy that may try to distract, that may try to hinder, that may try to block. We give your name the praise, O great Hashim. We give your name the praise, the honor, and the glory. Because it all ultimately belongs to you. Listen, if you have enjoyed today's video, if you have enjoyed this, you can you can support the support, support. Support, support, support. Um, information at the bottom of the screen. I love you guys. I appreciate you all. And guess what? I'm not out of word, but I am out of time. <laughs>